All right, and we are live here on Zoom. Good evening, everyone. My name is Ricardo Ferrari. I'm dialing in from San Diego, California. I want to thank everyone for coming on the Radiant Life Pro training here on Thursday evening. And I know that some of you are from other countries like Australia, the Philippines, and Europe, and Malaysia, and Canada. And some of you had to get up early in the morning or late at night. So I want to really thank you. I really appreciate it. We're going to do the product training this evening. I'm going to share some important information with all of you. I know we have a lot of people that are joining us now on a daily basis, and consequently, these trainings are important. And, uh, and also, this training will be archived uh, so you can watch it over and over and over again and really understand uh, what our products are, how they compare with everyone else in the industry. We are coming in the anti aging industry with a bombshell of a product that is really making waves out there, and consequently, I really want to teach you this evening everything that you need to know about this product, how to compare them with other products so you can answer questions intelligently, and most of all, how to represent all the information uh, correctly with integrity. And like many other companies that throw things up on the wall, I want to make sure that you have a structure that you can represent all the information so, uh, so we're not like everyone else out there. So this is going to be pretty interesting, and uh, we're going to spend about maybe 45 minutes, maybe an hour together, but I'll promise you that it's going to be definitely worth it. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, um, again, my name is Ricardo Ferrari. I, um, I've been in the industry of direct marketing full-time now since the past 28 years. Uh, formerly, I'm a naval engineer for years of my life. I worked in the maritime industry as an officer on cruise ships. And at one point, I wanted to jump out of the corporate world and have like a life on land with the family. And consequently, I jumped out of the maritime industry. I've been in the, in the direct marketing industry now since someplace in the middle of the 80s. And after the first couple of years of struggle, like many of us go through when we first joined this industry, I was able to eventually become very, very successful over the past 28 years. I was the number one in commodity in five major direct marketing companies. And now I am the uh, top producer in this company as well. The reason is very simple. I just jumped in and really, really go to work. I believe in this company. I believe in this product. When I see all the markers of something that can be very, very big, I just dive in and go to work. I know that some of you are also doing the same, and it's uh, very, very nice to see. The last uh, 90 days, uh, maybe three and a half months, I was able to, just by using free Facebook, I was able to put together a team of uh, 1,100 people. Just, uh, just by working on social media, that is something that I teach everyone else because everyone else is fascinated by them. They really want to learn it because uh, you definitely can go fast. You can meet a lot of uh, people from the industry that are already trained, that already love what we do, and consequently, we have some great, great trainings about that. So you're in the right place at the right time, not only because you're in the right company with the right product, that is a really a very futuristic or very powerful product, but also from the marketing viewpoint, if you failed in the industry in the past, uh, uh, you've got a chance to make it um, you know, with what we teach you over here. So what I'm gonna do, guys, I am going to uh, share a screen with you, and uh, we're gonna go through some slides, okay? We're gonna do this product training, we're gonna make all the points, we're gonna stop along the way so you understand certain crucial points that are very, very important and makes us very different than anyone else in the industry. So what we'll do, what, what we're gonna do, number one, I'm gonna give you a very brief company history. Also, you always see here that we have a $170 million type of studies behind us. We're gonna break that down so you understand exactly where they come from, who did them, and, uh, and how they are associated with, with our company. We're gonna talk about the QSP patent pending technology because that is, uh, we are coming in this industry with this big, powerful technology for which the anti-aging industry is totally unaware of it. And uh, that is the bombshell that I'm talking about. However, we're not just one technology product. We have other proprietary technologies in the product. We have a cocktails of technology, just like the high-end medical lines. So we're gonna talk about that and how they are associated with the QSP. You're going to know everything that's in the product. Also, we're going to go through an industry comparison with the other companies because when you work in the right marketing, since 42% of the entire industry is skincare anti-aging, 
um, you're going to run into people in other skincare companies. So I want to teach you how to do this comparison ethically. We're not here to knock anyone. We're going to respect this industry. It's a multi, multi-billion dollar world. These companies are successful. But as you're going to see, they don't have what we have. And consequently, we want to do a comparison. We're not here to knock anyone. We're here to praise everyone, but also to show the strength of what we're bringing to the market, which is very, very powerful and why other products actually can't compare. They can't compare because they just don't have the science and the technology uh, that we have. And that's what this training is all about. And then we're gonna handle some, uh, some questions at the end if we have time, if we don't go too long. So our company has been a pharmaceutical world leader in the business of closing chronic wounds. We are a class one FDA approved pharmaceutical company uh, we uh, have, have a manufacturing plant is in uh, Memphis, Tennessee, and we also have a marketing office in St. Louis, Missouri. And uh, so this is a company that has been through different tiers of development in the business of chronic wounds, 30-year history, uh, going through several stages of development. But overall, chronic wounds is a nasty disease that affects 7 million people in the U.S. alone. It's half the size of cancer. So it has a lot of attention from the medical community, even the government. Chronic wounds comes from diabetes ulcers and cutations, from venous ulcers and pressure ulcers. I don't know if you guys remember Christopher Reeve, Superman, when he fell from the horse and he was laid up uh, for years, actually, and ultimately died of a complication of chronic wounds amongst other things that were happening. But chronic wounds are a problem in the 80s and 90s, the medical community did not have an answer for chronic wounds. So uh, this is the company that pioneered this, uh, you know, the cure for this. And basically what they have done, they pioneered the relationship between high level of MMPs, which stands for uh, metalloproteinases and chronic wounds. So this is a family of 25 protease enzymes. I'm sure you're familiar with the term protease because they are digestive enzymes, but they're also very destructive to the skin. It's okay when they're in the stomach, so we digest the steaks and whatever else we eat, but when they're in the skin, they can actually create a lot of problems. And as you're gonna see, we all have them, and, uh, and we are the only company that can get rid of them. But that relationship is very, very important, which was also eventually re-verified by multi, multi-million dollar government studies as you are about to see. Now, our company overall was able to raise $100 million in between different stages in development. Plus, at one point, they were able to associate themselves with the government of the Netherlands, which gave them a grant of $2 million and also working with the University of Utrecht and Amsterdam, which are some of the best in the world, they were able to come up with the first signature science and medical products capable of down-regulating MMPs and actually close chronic wounds with a success rate of 92%. And other companies have tried and failed. And here's a couple of important details that I wanna give you guys. Um, take Johnson & Johnson, for example, a, good, a big, big, huge, good company with lots of money, they took a different route. They tried to close chronic wounds with growth factors, you know, those that you hear in skincare sometimes, like, like stem cell condition media or fibroblast condition media, and they failed. They figured that with growth factors, they can close chronic wounds. They couldn't. And consequently, they lost $780 million trial. And uh, our company took a different route, as you're going to see, and they actually arrived in the final plan to close chronic wounds. Now, to close chronic wounds, you need some kind of a reversal mechanism, right? You need some kind of, of you got to be able to rebuild collagen, glycoproteins. There are many, many steps in being able to rebuild uh, the conditions that reverse the condition actually uh, cause chronic wounds. So you, you've got to have some pretty deep science in exclusive technology and a lot of skin knowledge uh, for you to be able to do that. And being the only company in the world that can do it, we need to take this company very, very seriously when we come to anti-aging because the same cause of chronic wounds is also the same cause of aging in the skin. That's why our skin gets thinner. That's why we lose collagen, glycoproteins, extracellular matrix components. It is exactly the same cause because of metalloproteinases. And this was confirmed also by two major government studies from the National Institutes of Health and the Pentagon, because they both have 
different um, budgets. The military, for example, they have four times more chances of getting cancer, diabetes, Alzheimer's, and skin diseases than civilians. So they spend a lot of money in medical research, and obviously the U.S. Institute of Health is the highest medical entity in the world. A lot of governments actually are looking to our research uh, for, for, for their medical needs as well. And at one point, they put together a grant of $68 million to do important skin studies, and chronic wounds and aging were at the top of the list because a chronic wound cost the government about $28,000 to $45,000. And aging is a problem also because as we get older, our skin thins out and eventually uh, later on in age can break and can cause all kinds of problems, um, even chronic wounds, but also different type of problems. Consequently, they gave Dr. Grush, Greg Schultz of the University of Florida, they gave Dr. Greg Schultz of the University of Florida uh, $30 million grant for chronic wounds, and that's where the association with metalloproteinases came about. You can Google that. It's all information is available online. And then the $38 million study for aging was also done through, through the University of Florida. Now, uh, that's when they established that MMPs are also the major cause of aging. They actually uh, essentially destroy collagen, elastin, glycoproteins, and all extracellular matrix components. There were 132 participants in the study of three different age groups, and they have determined that when we turn about 25, MMP starts growing on our skin, and then they intensify from there. When you get to 40, the elevation is a lot higher, and then when you get to 45, 50, they keep on intensifying, and that's when you start losing collagen. By losing collagen, you lose the foundation of the skin, and that's when you see wrinkles, brown spots, and all the aging, ugly stuff that we don't want to see. But this is a very important detail, guys, because you need to understand that these enzymes, they actually digest protein in your skin, and 90% of your skin is protein, which is collagen and elastin. And consequently, uh, this is a very, very important statement. This is I think it's a devastating statement for the, for the anti-aging industry because they don't have anything to stop it. We are the only company that can. But I want to encourage you to Google MMP, collagen degradation and aging, because you're going to find tremendous medical studies on PubMed, different websites, and different people talking about this. And consequently, we are bringing this in this industry very, very strongly. Now, I also want to clarify you know, the money trail like, okay, 100 million came from our company, 2 million came from the government of the Netherlands to finalize the formulas. And now the uh, US government doesn't give companies any money. They give, they give money to universities. So when they feel that they want to look into something and come down to the bottom of it, they uh, align different universities with different studies. And the University of Florida is the best one for skits. Not Stanford, it's not Harvard, it's the University of Florida. And then they put the information out to the pharmaceutical industry and who grabs it and wants to launch patents, then they do that. So this is an independent study, and, uh, which is uh, a, a huge study for us because it really verifies everything that we're talking about. And uh, the study on aging, it's incredible. And also Dr. Zoe Drehler, she's a consulting professor of dermatology at Duke University, and she says the skin aging is a chronic wound that does not completely heal. So the correlation between uh, chronic wounds and aging is a very, very strong one. She also has a company that develops formulations, she does education, and conducts third-party clinical studies in the industry, especially for pharmaceutical companies. Now, I've never seen the skincare companies with uh, human randomized placebo human clinical trials like at government levels where they have to prove something because the money comes from the public or a pharmaceutical company with investors or whatever. Those are the trials that those people want to see. We don't see that in skincare, so we are blessed to have one with this company. She also wrote 60 books on skin science and uh, dermatology, so she's one of the biggest authority in this industry. Um, kind of at the level of Dr. Leslie Bowman, which works with the FDA also. She's the doctor that approved Botox and Rejuvenax and all of those drugs as well. So this is uh, kind of the top of medical skincare science. And uh, check it out on, on Google. Go to our website. Great lady. 
Uh, she also worked for a couple of uh, natural marketing companies that are very prominent in the industry. So she's one of the better consultants out there. Now, the uh, transitions from wound care to anti-aging is being made at this company as of May of 2017. It's a young company, uh, just a few months old. We're just threading into the market now. But this is the statement that we're coming into. So Radiant Life developed the world first medical technology to reverse the effects of aging in the skin, not just cover it up, just reverse it. And some people wonder, is that a legal statement? I mean, you know, you hear reverse aging in, uh, in skin care over and over and over, which is an abused term because a reversal, it's a very serious claim that most of them cannot back up. And uh, we are coming from a different position. If you can reverse chronic wounds, then we have a stand to say that we can reverse the effects of aging for sure. So for them, it's a marketing slogan. For us, it's a chronological and biological fact. So we have a legal statement on our website that says no one can reverse aging, but we can reverse the effects of aging in the skin, and our double-blind, placebo-controlled, randomized human clinical studies prove it. And as I mentioned, those are the top-of-the-line studies that are done by third parties, randomized, meaning that the doctors and the patients don't know who gave what to who when it comes to the placebo or the real active uh, it's it totally blind, so it's unbiased. It, it is not, uh, you know, it doesn't have, it, it's not psychologically driven or preferentially driven. Randomized is something very, very important. So you maybe want to go to Google and check out the whole statement because uh, it's very, very important. I think it's important that you do understand what that study really is because it's the only way to arrive at the conclusion in an unbiased manner whether something is really either working or not working. That is the only way to really find out. And again, we don't see that in the skincare industry and consequently there are a lot of gray areas around everyone else. Now, the QSP technology is coming into anti-aging. So this is a patent pending collagen and tissue remodeling, rebuilding type of technology. Because once you take protease out of the skin, just like it heals chronic wounds, now, you can stop collagen loss because collagen loss is strictly related to the uh, uh, to the metalloproteinases. So once you get them out of the way, now you stop the collagen loss. Now you can start the collagen rebuilding because the body is going to want to rebuild it. In addition to that, we have other technologies which includes peptide technology and proprietary peptide technology that really help the body itself rebuild that collagen as well. And also, it starts growth factors activation. Growth factors in the industry are usually, they usually go to stem cell media to get them. You don't have to, they're already in your skin. If you take protease out of the way, they're gonna start growing again. And that's where the tissue regeneration, remodeling, and the restructuring does take place. So this is a, a regenerative type of product line. And you know, everyone in the industry talk, talks about regeneration and uh, you know, collagen stimulation, all those terms, they are, they are marketing statement, guys. They do not have science capable of proving it, and we have looked very, very hard. I mean, the last four or five months, I mean, our CEO has been around 30 years, it tells us all the time, but I wanted to do my own research, and I'm gonna show you some of them a little later in this training. So, uh, this product line has been available to doc, through doctor offices and plastic surgeons for a while, but now we're getting to the bigger market, you know, the big, uh, we want the billion dollar shot, right? We wanna, we want to be able to tap into that wonderful industry called the red marketing and anti-aging, which happens to do most of the volume in the industry and has scored 18% of our skincare sales in the world, which I don't know if, I mean, Apple has a corner 18% of sales of computers in the world for sure. So this is an industry, the red marketing and anti-aging, it's an industry to reckon with. And uh, so we said the aging is caused by the same MMPs that cause chronic wounds. They feast on collagen, elastin, glycoproteins, and extracellular protein fibers, which are fibers that exist on the outside of our cells that make cells communicate with one another. So destroying that is not a good idea, right? And that's what causes the skin to collapse, change color, age, form brown spots, and all the things that we really, really don't like. That is a very important statement, guys because unless you get rid of protease, you do not have an anti-aging product. I don't know what company you're with right now, what product you're using, whether you're, you, whether you're buying something, you know, someplace on the market or on the internet, 
of from, from a natural marketing distributor, from a plastic surgeon, if you can't get rid of that protease, that's what's gonna happen. That process keeps on going, okay? So this is what we're saying. It does not really matter what you put in your face. When protease enzymes are present, your skin will lose collagen, keep on thinning, collapse, and wrinkle. That's how I answer all the questions that people throw at me in the industry. When they say, wow, we have these studies and this other study, and my cream does this, and we do that. And we, get, we have a doctor at a convention, there was a big guy, and he said this and that and that. Listen to me, guys, very, very carefully, okay? We do not care what you put on your face. If you can't get rid of protease, I don't care what doctors are you listening to, what scientists, I do, we do not care about that. When protease enzymes are present, okay, if you can't get rid of metalloproteinases out of your skin, your skin will lose collagen, keep on thinning at the same regular pace, no matter what product are you using. Whether you, it's a fancy department store, Bloomingdale product, or whether it's a, you buy from a celebrity on television or from a direct marketing company, or you go at the very top of the industry, which I believe uh, that's what's sold in plastic surgeon offices like Lancers and Skin Medical, which use cocktails of technologies, you are just not going to be able to stop that process. As a matter of fact, I have taken the time to break in this entire industry down. It cost me four months worth of work, a lot of my own money to do, a lot of my own time, and I, um, and I make pretty good money, and consequently, taking time to do this research is very, very costly. Uh, and it's, it's pretty, you know, pretty obvious to see what's going on. So you have your drugstore lines, you have the upscale department store designer, designer lines, then you have the Hollywood ladies, the market of magazines and television, then you have the as seen on TV product, typical as seen on TV, <clears throat> different anti-aging systems, and also the instant lifts, which are very dramatic for television advertising. Then you have the organic industry. The organic industry, you know, people, when people ask me, is your product organic? Because I wouldn't consider anything else. That is a very flower power type of statement because the organic industry, although as respectable as we want it to be, we, we all love to go organic, but there are certain necessary evils that are not possible uh, with organic ingredients, like the sunscreen, for example, uh, the penetration agent, because the skin is very, very difficult to penetrate. And if you don't put a different agent in there that can make the ingredients penetrate, you're not going to really achieve uh, uh, a lot. And this industry does not do a lot of volume, the organic industry. Uh, it smells good, it feels good, you know, but uh, with the pharmaceutical technologies today capable of purifying uh, very selective ingredients, which some of them are even controlled by the FDA, and also passing the scrutiny of the CRR, which is a very, very important scrutinizing agency that works with the FDA, the pharmaceutical industry, we can produce very, very safe products for long-term use without being freak about organic, which are not guaranteed anyway to be totally safe. And consequently, um, there is a lot of discussion here, but the organic industry cannot compete with the big guys. They, they just don't have the results. And also the medical community does admit that. Uh, that's not just my statement. And then you have the network marketing companies. The network marketing companies do a tremendous amount of volume. They're doing a great job. That's what I was talking about. We have seen different companies since the past uh, uh, five to seven years coming on, and they're like airplanes at LaGuardia. There is one that lands a half a billion dollar volume in five years, like one after another one. I mean, they're just incredible. And this is just a few. I can show you other companies that are between 100 to 300 million that started like three or four years ago. I mean, the one on the top right, uh, uh, that's Rodan and Fields. In the last 36 months, they grew $580 million. Uh, a friend of mine is a massive distributor of It, of it Works, or one of them, and uh, that company started in 2011 because I remember when I was invited to it, and now they're doing $748 million. That's what I call an overnight volume. Uh, Juness, the last six years, the, they went from nothing to $1.2 billion. They actually broke the New Skin record. New Skin is the only company in the industry that reached the $1 billion a year within a 10-year time, between 84 and 94. They kept that record for 30 years, and only a skincare company was able to break it. Not an electricity company, not a coffee company, not a nutrition company, not a weight loss company, not a travel company, not cryptocurrency, not forex, none of that, another skincare company. And consequently, 
Um, I don't know about you guys, but I'm kind of tired of missing these waves. And consequently, um, when, I, uh, when I found Radiant Life, which I found it by mistake, because I, I just was browsing the net, I went to this website and I saw the statement where, you know, no one can stop aging, but we can reverse the effect of aging in the skin and we have double blind randomized studies to prove it. When I saw that statement, I knew that there was something to this company and I want to make sure I didn't miss it. And I was very pleasantly surprised that this is not a marketing company. Uh, unlike these companies, uh, they subcontract manufacturing. We don't. I mean, we are a manufacturing direct-to-consumer model, and that brings a tremendous amount of, of advantages. But overall, natural marketing companies are controlling 42% of all natural marketing volume. And given the fact that the fastest growth of this industry is right here, I need to point it out for you if you want to put your business hat on. And uh, these are the old timers, Avon and Forever Living is Natura, Mary Kay, you know, extremely respectable, respectable company. Avon recently launched a brand new division for men because men are coming into anti-aging, one of the biggest trends in the world. And that division is already doing $1.4 billion. Um, re really, really respectable. And now this is the top of the line. Now, what I just showed you, all these companies that I just showed you, let me roll them back one more time. You need to put a little drama on this one, guys, because you need to understand this. All these companies, look at them again, one more time, they do not compare to these companies, okay? These, are, these guys are Harvard doctors or Yale or MIT or whatever, and they use cocktails of technology where the other companies, just to mention anyone, for example, New Skin is driven by antioxidants, Miriam, with the oleander flower is driven by antioxidants. It's an antioxidant. Jeunesse, they do stem cell growth factors. Uh, Rodin, they do growth factors and peptides. Um, it works, it's kind of more botanically driven, so it's Arban. So when some companies use one or two technologies, uh, these companies are using all of them. I'm talking about cocktail of antioxidants, and then they're using growth factors from fibroblasts or from stem cell media. They're using hyaluronic acid, peptides, and all of it. And consequently, you know, you find these products in plastic surgeon offices. They're very expensive. Um, they have a few things in common. They use high-end ingredients. They're very expensive. And if you're really breaking down like I have, you're going to find out that they're all the same thing. After a while, it's, it's, it's like it's one thing after another one. Uh, you know, there is, only, there is only so many technologies out there. There is only so many ingredients, and everyone can buy them. And consequently, a lot of them are the same thing. Minutia, type of difference here and there, but, you know, same effect. I was on skin medic for 10 years, and it's never made any difference for me. Now, there are other ones. There's Neocuries, Obagi, Citrix, Dr. Borman, Peter Thomas, uh, Riluma. I got a lot of people that work in plastic surgeons that call me all the time. And, uh, you know, I praise their lines, but unfortunately, they don't have the effects of ours but they're extremely respectable. So when I talk about comparing with skincare companies, I'm talking about this company because the rest of them are really, are really are not at the level of these companies. These are, these are different. And consequently, if you really study their ingredients, uh, this is truly the top of the line. And consequently, uh, you have to respect these guys. And if you, overall, you look into the entire industry, like this is, a 30,000 foot view, guys, I am not talking about any specific company, but you do a little bit of homework, you're gonna arrive at this, okay? So the industry is what? Well, they've got, they've got exfoliants, moisturizers, botanicals, any kinds, you know, they, they have seaweeds, algae, flowers, herbs, fruits, um, that all translates into antioxidants. And then you have different lines that are, that are driven by vitamins, like vitamin A, which is retin A, and then you have vitamin C and vitamin E, very viable antioxidants. You have other antioxidants like coenzyme Q10, resveratrol, and you have lycopene, you have flavonoids or, or you know, polyflavonoids. You have a lot of antioxidants in skincare and also in nutrition. Then you have peptides, which is an extremely interesting technology because peptides are like microcomputer chips. You can sequence them, they're proteins, by the way, and you can sequence them to uh, command the human cell to do something. So they can potentially be active technologies, but a lot, of, a lot of the peptides in the industry are not active. And also, 
unfortunately, they are a protein and they die in the presence of proteins. So uh, they got to show me how to make peptides work with proteins in the skin. Show it to me. Show me a study. And then they have stem cell growth factors, which again, they're proteins. And um, in our opinion, they die in the presence of proteins. And then you've got fibroblasts, same thing. And then you have hyaluronic acid, which is uh, um, to, be, to be really effective as to be injected with some moisturizer. It holds 1,000 times weight in water. So if you study all those companies, they all have these ingredients in it. So they react the same concepts over and over again. They're not true anti-aging companies. You, know, you can't be a true anti-aging company if you penetrate 5% of, of the upper layers and you can stop collagen growth. They attempt to mask age. They can make you feel better with exfoliants and good moisturizers and antioxidants. You can look a little better, but not to compare what, you, what you're going to see next year. So um, also, they have weak or not complete or unverifiable studies. I mean, we see vitro, we see mice, we see rabbits. If they have human studies, it's like 20 people here, 20 people there. We don't really know, you know how they did it. I mean, a randomized, double-blind, placebo human study is a very, very serious, you should read about it sometime, how you set them up. We don't see any of those in the industry. We, most of the times, either I call these companies or go to their website, I can't really verify what kind of studies they have. And then when I get there, they put a bunch of marketing language on it, and it's like, da, it's the same thing. They make it sound so, uh, uh, you know, incredible, whatever especially those that are now coming through with, uh, you know, mitochondrial reversal and or they're talking about gene expression, they're trying to sound like doctors and all of it. And then when you look at their studies, I scratch my head and I go, what? <laughs> okay, <laughs> they don't really have studies. And consequently, um, that's, that's for, and, and I'm not the only one saying that, guys. The medical community is what says that. If you go to the uh, cosmetic surgery review, you, uh, you get a lot of information if you study doctors like Dr. Zoe Drailers or Dr. Leslie Bowman and, and you read their websites, it's kind of like the, they, uh, they, they don't believe a lot of this stuff, okay? So a lot of companies just use standard testing and then they advertise it as science. Our CEO says the science is a double-blind randomized placebo human study, just like they do in the pharmaceutical drug level or they got to prove a government something. That's science. The rest of it is not science. Um, a lot of them misuse the word active ingredients because active at the pharmaceutical level is something that has to do something, that has to move something, shut down something, build something. Or And um, for example, aloe vera, they tried to pass it for an active. The, it was, the FDA never approved it as an active. An antioxidant is an electrical component. It's not an active. It's not considered active at the pharmaceutical level. So they use this word as a marketing slogan. At the pharmaceutical level, they're using it in a very different manner. Uh, they also spin marketing language. We know that, right? Overall, they cannot stop collagen loss because, and if you can stop collagen loss, then you can stop aging. Then, then your skin is going to recall. And so they're missing the point. They're treating 5% of the problem. And that's why your CEO, you know, the first time I met him, and this is kind of a very gentle man, but he's also a very black and white man. He says, you either have science or you don't. And most people throw their money away on quick fixes and overinflated claims. And here we are telling you, listen to what science has to say. Listen to the science. We have a video online that says, what does science mean to you? I don't know about you guys, but to me, it means a lot. And if you, I'm tired of marketing stuff that are not proven and just driven by distributed, distributed testimonials that are extremely biased by the fact that they have to sell the product. And consequently, I am type of time, kind of tired of that type of marketing. So when I met Greg Pyland, it was very refreshing uh, to, uh, to meet a man that tells you the truth. And uh, the, the science is, is very simple. Most skincare companies, no matter what they tell you, they treat 5% of the outer layers of the skin. Study all these antioxidants, study all these moisturizers and exfoliants, that's all they do. But 90 to 95% of the skin is collagen and elastin, which is a protein. And that protein is constantly attacked by metalloproteinases. And if you don't get rid of metalloproteinases, I don't care how many antioxidants you throw in there and how much other stuff you throw in there, if you can even pass the epidermis, because a lot of the products can't. There is no penetration studies in the industry we can get a hold of. 
And consequently, we are the only company that we know of with a real study that says that we can treat 100% of the skin, not just 5%, because by getting rid of proteins out of the collagen layer, and then also by introducing different peptides to help it regrow, other than the body wanting to regrow itself, now we got something that is very, very different. This is a very, very important slide for you guys to understand in training, when you talk to people, when you do your seminars, when you do your, your Zoom trainings, when you do your presentations. I always bring people to the slide and say, okay, show me a study that you can do that, because I'll show you mine. And also, there is the question of the UV rays. UV rays penetrate all the way into 100% of the skin. They cause free radical, and also, they grow metalloproteinases. They grow protease enzymes. So those enzymes feast on UV, on UV rays. You lay sun with a sunscreen, and boy, boy, if you use Retin-A, which makes your skin very sensitive to light, the UV rays are going to penetrate even more. You use products that have retinol in it, and consequently, they're so destructive. And even if an antioxidant could reach the dermis, then what are you going to do about metalloproteinases? And nobody really have an answer. And that's why, you know, everyone that comes on the line with us saying that their product is better and then they go through this, eventually they admit and they join the company. <laughs> this is happening quite often. And um, so we do have a fantastic case. Um, let's kind of go deeper into this. What do skincare companies really have? Again, this is not a criticism, guys. This, this is just facts, okay? This is just biochemistry. Every company can be broken down in three parts. The base, where you put in the moisturizers, the emollients, the conditioners, the sunscreens, the oils, and that's it. Well, sunscreen is a very important part of skincare. I just showed you what uh, uh, ultraviolet does, right? When to protect your skin from losing collagen, you gotta wear sunscreen. But sunscreen only lasts about a couple of hours, then you have to reapply. And so it's got a great, great limitation. So having something like QXP, taking care of MMPs in the skin is key. Uh, but most companies don't have that. And then there are the usual staples, ret retinol and antioxidants. So Dr. Leslie Bowman, for example, always says that the three major staples of skincare are sunscreen, retinols, and antioxidants. And these antioxidants, they come out of many, many, many places. Plants, fruits, herbs, flowers, seaweeds, algaes, uh, whatever. What are the mineral systems that are at the bottom of the Red Sea or twigs that are grown on top of the Himalayas or the Amazons or the Polynesian? Uh, whatever you get them, antioxidants are electrical components. Okay? That's what free radicals are. Free radicals, they lose a charge at the, at the molecular level, at the atom level. And consequently, these plants have that charge that can put it back. But remember this, I mean, I have, I've seen documentaries of Mayo Clinics and Cleveland Clinics, very, very mild. I mean, the body produces billions of free radicals, for crying's sake, and you throw the stuff on it, it may do something at a mild level. And then you have coenzyme Q10, which originally is an antioxidant for the heart, now they're using it on skincare. Same thing with resveratrol. That's why French people live so long, is because of the, uh, of the wine factor. But, you know, you can, you can buy seed grape extract and, and resveratrol now and ingest it or put it on your skin, whatever, whether it can penetrate the skin, whether all this stuff can penetrate the skin, is very gray area. Then there is superoxide dismutase, which is a strong antioxidant, which is kind of the brother of glutathione, which is the stronger antioxidant, which is grown by the body itself. Then you have uh, polyphenols, flavonoids, uh, uh, isoflavones, which I consider probably the stronger antioxidant of them all. And then you have the lycopene, which is found in tomato, we have green tea, coffee berry, you name it, you name it, you name it. Is this anti-aging? Mm, I don't know, you tell me, I don't, I don't believe that. I believe that that is kind of a, maybe a good treatment to have for the skin, along with the, all the moisturizers and the emollients. I think we all gotta have that. But whether you have a, a something really dramatic here, um, it's, it's very, very, very questionable. And then you have technologies like peptides, hyaluronic, and growth factors. Peptides are proteins and so are growth factors. And consequently, they die in the presence of proteins. 
And also, if you study medical review websites that are reputable, their molecular structure of this stuff is very big, and they have not found a railroad to really make them penetrate. That's why they get a lot of criticism. And Dr. Fitzpatrick of Skin Medical uses stem cell adipose condition media, gets criticized a lot because he has preliminary studies, but not definitive randomized studies to prove that girl factors can penetrate. Hyaluronic acid, if you go to a plastic surgeon, and, uh, and you ask him to uh, make you look good, they'll give you injection of Restylane, which that's what it is, because hyaluronic molecular structure is 3,000 versus 5 versus the skin, 3,000 nanometers, and consequently, it doesn't penetrate. Hyaluronic acid is put in skincare systems, maybe for different purposes, but not for the purpose that it really, really has. It's the medical community called this marketing ingredients, okay? However, I'm gonna show you in a minute why they work uh, in, in, in our products. So, so this is basically all they have. No matter who comes on the line with you with this sensational product, you, you gotta kind of, it's in this category right here. And if they have these ingredients, show me the studies that they work because we don't see any, okay? I have not seen, maybe they do exist, I don't wanna, I don't wanna say 100% because 100% doesn't exist, but we have not seen any companies with a high level pharmaceutical double blind placebo randomized clinical human study. We have not seen that. Now, in uh, Radiant Life, the environment is completely different. So we have a base ourselves. We use either high grade or medical grade ingredients. For example, our Barbadensis, which has 75 nutrients, is the best that there is, and even Skin Medical uses it. It's a very, very good ingredient, but it cannot be considered a medical, a medical ingredient, right? Then you have the conditioners, the moisturizers, the emollients, the sunscreen, where the medical ingredient comes in, especially those that are uh, monitored by the FDA, because the FDA is freaky. If they even suspect you have something that causes cancer in the skin, they are gonna shut it down. They're very, they're like Gestapo when it comes to skin. And consequently, um, they control certain things. There are certain things in skin cream that are common of all skin creams, like the PEG-100, for example, which is a penetration agent. Um, that's controlled by the FDA. And in very minute quantity, because that's all you need, is very, very innocent. And then you have, you know, other, uh, the sunscreen, for example, uh, it's, it's never an organic product. I mean, it is, it is, it is a pharmaceutical compound. And that exists practically in every skincare out there. So as far as the base is concerned, guys, with money, you, there is, you, you, you can get whatever you want, you know, like low grade, mid grade, high grade, or medical grade, and you can kind of call the price in the industry. Nothing really new that's not available to everyone here. Now, on the technologies, we have a cocktail of antioxidants. We're very strong on the isoflavones because there are a lot of studies that are very, very powerful. We have grape seed in there. We have other ones that are very important. And then we have both third-party peptides and also proprietary peptides. This is important stuff because peptides are like computer microchips that can command human cell to do something. And consequently, not only they're good for skincare, they're also good for the future of medicine. Now, peptides, um, we have Matrixic 3000, which are very respectable. They're made in France by a company called Sederma, but we also have proprietary peptides that are mixed with the QXP that um, they are part of the QXP. So they are not, you know, you don't see them. You, you, you don't see these long fancy names on the label, but we have photolightening peptides for brown spot, stretch peptides, and also moisturizing peptides. That's why we have a peptide that holds 300 times its weight in water that really helps the hyaluronic acid work and it also helps the other peptides work. And obviously when you take out protease, which is the jewel of the Nile here, this is the whole key to anti-aging. You take protease out of the skin, now these proteins are beginning to work and to work a lot better without getting killed by, by, by metalloproteinases. And consequently, now we have two active technologies in our product because everyone else, I don't see an active here. I don't, okay, antioxidants are not considered an active, and for them, for this other stuff to be an active, they have to prove that it works. So, and some of these ingredients only work when proteases are in the way. And consequently, we have something very, very different here. But most of all, you know, we are, we are coming on the market with real science, not hype. We have $170 million in studies, 
that uh, uh, 102 million are related to our company directly and 68 million of third party government studies to prove our point here. This is very, very serious information for anti-aging guys. There is no question about it. Now, let's touch on the subject of safety and toxicity, right? Because people will say, is your product uh, toxicology tested? Is your product organic? Is your product natural? And I say our product is 100% safe, okay? Because, yeah, it's maybe 90% natural. We use a lot of natural ingredients, but there are certain necessary evil like the sunscreen, the penetration agents, which are pharmaceutical grade, uh, you know, FDA controlled type of synthetics that are the necessary evil that exist in all skincare lines. And they're very, very safe. As a matter of fact, if an ingredient passes the CRR, it's, you're pretty much safe for the long term. So safety is really what we want. We don't need to be freaky about organic or natural. The question is, is it safe as a produced result? Would you spend your money on it? And, and the answer is yes. Now, the Cosmetic Ingredient Review Expert Panel, by the way, there is a file in our group under files, and you want to download that and read about these guys because they work directly with the FDA they, they work with the Consumer Federation of America. They work with pharmaceutical companies. They work with, uh, they are kind of the uh, watchdog body that makes sure that all ingredients are safe. And once an ingredient gets to their table, they produce a PDF file if you go to their website, and they give it three different grades. Either it's not safe, or either it's safe with conditions, or either it's safe, period. And consequently, if you pass, uh, number three on the CIR, then you're fine. And, uh, and, uh, and basically, if they say it's good, then it's good. And our ingredients pass the CIR. That's all the product needs to do, because in my opinion, both natural and organic are not guaranteed safe. They still have to go through purification. They still have to go through uh, you know, different processes. And consequently, we don't know if those companies are even capable of doing that. I would rather go with a safe product, which is pharmaceutically controlled, and get the results that I want. And that's what the rest of the public wants as well, because organic companies are just not doing the volume. They don't produce the results. Bottom line, show me a company, and I'll show you one or two or three or four that are similar. Show me a company with growth factors, I show, I show you five. Show me a company with stem cell condition media, I show you three or four. Show me a company with, uh, you know, uh, Metrixil 3000 peptides or different peptides, and I'll show you another one but there are no copycats of radiant life. You can't reproduce the QXP technology in the proprietary peptides that boost it. And consequently, we have something very, very unique. And that's pretty much unanimous of the entire direct marketing industry. Show me a company, I'll share another one that is similar. Whether it's nutrition, whether it's travel, whether it's forex, whether it's cryptocurrency, whether it's coffee, whether it's weight loss, whether it is what it is, but there is one thing about radiant life you cannot find a copycat of this company. To me, that is huge. That is so important. It's, I don't sleep at night sometimes thinking about what we have in our hands here. Okay? There is no metalloproteinase reducer anywhere in the industry and that can rebuild collagen, can stop collagen loss and reverse the effects of aging that can be proven with a randomized placebo double-blind human studies. If you have it, guys, if you, if you own a company uh, that... Uh, if you are a doctor out there of any kind, okay, show, me, show us your MNP reducer, and then, um, and then you can be a part with us. Until then, um, I think that we are king in the anti-aging industry. Keep it simple, guys. Learn the MNP story. You've got to learn how to tell the protease enzymes story. They destroy collagen, elastin, glycoproteins, an extracellular matrix component, no matter what product people use. That is my main mantra when I talk to people in other companies that hear of us and they want information, they're trying to be snarky, okay? People from New Skin or, 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 or whatever, from our bomb or whatever, and, you know, they, they, they call you, they try to recruit you. And I, I, go, I go there all the time. So you have a very respectable product, however, Right now, you've got proteins in your skin digesting your collagen way. What, how can your product slow it down? Oh, but this doctor says that, and we have science. No, 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 what I mean? And please answer my question, okay? Because your collagen is going away as we speak. And some people say, no, our products would rebuild collagen, okay? Uh, number one, they never prove a study. 
they can do it. And number two, even if they can rebuild it, then protease is going to kill it anyway. So it's kind of like a catch-22. You're caught between uh, you know, a frying pan and a hot fire. And usually, if you can stick to that song, sooner or later, these people break down during this company. I mean, some of them will not. Some of them will be stuck in their, you know, when you tell a child that Santa Claus doesn't exist, and it, was, it wasn't really Santa Claus, it was your dad, they put the present under, under the, the fireplace. But the child is not going to believe it for a couple of years. <laughs> they still believe in Santa Claus, right? Well, the same thing with this industry. When they hear this presentation, they, they want to still bring forward, oh, but my company this and my company that, and I go, listen, listen to what science has to say. That's what a CEO says all the time. Listen to what science has to say. It's right here in front of you, okay? Oh, and 170 million randomized placebo human studies to prove it, go for it. Now, QSP is patent pending. What does that mean exactly? That means that patent pending, you file a patent, and then when you are offered the registration, you just don't want it, okay? Because the moment you accept the registration, then, then the, uh, the formula procedure, uh, then you know the assembly of all the ingredients and how it happens and everything, then you have to disclose it. And then someone can actually take a crack and, 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 uh, um, and reproduce it. Like, it's like Crestor. Crestor was the first Lipitor the market has ever seen, but then there were other companies that were able to break that patent, right? So we are like Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola is patent pending. There are other companies out there that are patent pending. BMW has technologies. Uh, the reason why BMW is one of the best cars in the world is because they've patented the different technologies that other manufacturers cannot reproduce. But some of these technologies are still patent pending. Consequently, you want to stay patent pending as long as possible so no one can reproduce this for the next 100 years. In addition to that, uh, QXP uh, in Radian uh, have several active technologies that can produce dramatic results in this. So we're not a one technology type of company. So as, as we break down the, uh, uh, you know, the radio life environment, we have the best base that money can buy, just like Skin Medica and all of that, and Lancers. Plus we have these cocktails of technologies working together that truly make us unique in the industry. And I personally don't believe there is anything like it. I know everyone makes that statement, but after you watch this presentation and this training, you have to admit that we have a very, very good case and making a legitimate statement by saying that. It's not a statement that comes out of hype and brainwashing. It's a statement that comes out of education and reasoning and looking behind the facts rather than saying things. And consequently, to me, that is very, very important. Now, another factor is the, um, um, okay, let me flip the slide a little better, okay? Let, let us, another factor is the results, okay? Without results, we can have all the studies we want, but if we can produce results, and some people produce results and they don't have the studies, so if the testimonials all come out of the distributors, which are biased by the money they can make, I, I think that the best scenario is to have the studies and the testimonials. This is Gini, okay, dramatic results at day 21st, more results at day 28, but we prolong to use. Now you can really uh, have a, um, um, even more of a dramatic results. With a lot of products, after a while, they stop working for some reason. This one will make you better and better and better and better. One day you'll be 80, and I don't, I don't know if you're going to look like you look today, but you have a very good shot not looking like a wrinkled up prunes like most 80-year people do. Uh, and consequently, you, you really have to think about this. This is prolonged use of this product. It's going to give you really, really fantastic results. Now, Jeannie was a professional medical esthetician. She was hard to get because people in the profession know everything, they use everything, they know everything under the sun the moment it comes out. They're always looking for the latest and the best because they've got customers to keep and to please. And also, like a lot of women, they want to look good, they go for injection, chemical peels, and uh, use doctor prescription products, and so on and so forth. So for someone like that to say, I love these products and I'll never use anything else again. It's, it's a huge statement. And, and because of it, she, she's also left one company and came with us. 
And uh, after seven, seven or eight years of failing in network marketing, now she's number two in this company. So we're talking about major results, both on the skin and the success. This is Kimberly, wonderful picture of before and after. Thank you, Kimberly. This is Bonnie. Okay, now I took this picture out of her video because a lot of these testimonials, like you see the before and then the after is a picture of 10 years ago. No, 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 this, this is not this case, okay? A lot of these pictures are on videos for us. This is Kelly, uh, great decollete testimonial, both on the aging and the photo lightning, a brown spot a removal uh, type of testimonial. This is another person that was associated with the uh, skincare surgeon, with the cosmetic surgeon, so very skeptic, uh, being skeptic by nature and also uh, being around the profession, you know, proof is everything for these people. I talked to her for five minutes and then I didn't see her for two months and now she comes back with the results and uh, she is uh, one of our most excited brand partners now. So, Kali, congratulations. Then you have Pauline. Picture is a thousand words. Look at this. Then you have Kathy. Now, younger people obviously uh, can get the dramatic effect of before and after with the wrinkles, but skin tone, firmness, and tightness, and just, you know, overall glow and everything, it's definitely something that people tell us a, a lot. Uh, we, we get a lot of the stuff of testimonials for the younger people because um, if you are 25 years old and up, you should be on this product. So you want to keep your collagen in your face rather than letting it melt away by metalloproteinases. And if you are in, in your 40s, you definitely need to get on this product now to be able to keep collagen where it's at. This is Mari. Um, another anti-aging professional, she had a former practice with a cosmetic surgeon. Uh, after 30 days on this product, she was on the market for a facelift. Originally, she decided not to, to do it, actually. Um, you know, we, we hear this. We actually hear this. Then this is Dr. Larry Davis and Judy Davis. They love radium products. They're still in their, you know, young days and uh, kind of difficult to nail down a picture of before and after. That is, uh, that is super dramatic if you look this good. But, you know, they talk about skin firmness, tightness, uh, you know, watching the product work, being excited about staying young. And, uh, you know, great, great people, great testimonial. This is uh, Peggy. She's now one of our most excited brand partners. Uh, again, a lady that wanted to try the products for a while. She's she been a cosmetologist for the last 40 years. Now she says, I never found the product as effective as Radiant. And again, those pictures come out of videos, um, and consequently, they have a lot of value, okay? And she's, she got pretty dramatic results within 30 days, but after 90 days, uh, 90 days seems to be a threshold for this product of things. Um, statistically speaking, 98% of people that reach the 90 days threshold never quit Radiant Life. That's just a fact of life in our company. And this has been tested in doctor offices for years as well. That statement comes out of them. As a matter of fact, it doesn't come out of us. It comes out of the medical community. A plastic surgeon, doctor offices that says, you know, people stay on it for 90 days, they'll never stop ordering the product. Uh, it doesn't make any scientific sense or biological sense to use anything else, actually. And this is another recent picture before and after that came in very, very recently. Um, uh, wonderful, Amy. And then we have Gloria. She's a retired multi-million dollar producer in a $3.5 billion skincare company. She recently came to Radiant. Again, a very well-kept lady that has been in skincare for 30 years. She has seen everything, done everything, tried everything, but very excited about Radiant Life. She's watching her face becoming younger and younger and also her, her, her decollete. She's on video twice, as a matter of fact. And I remember, I remember when she came in, uh, you know, already good looking, well-kept lady, but now I can definitely see the difference in her skin on the videos and you can also. And here we have the instant gratification testimonials, about 30 of them in the video. We gifted people the fast acting wrinkle remover, which our happens to be QXP. Now everyone in the industry has this. It's based on the uh, Argyri line peptides. The department store now have it. Um, I'm surprised if Walmart doesn't have it. I mean, it's all over the internet. You can buy it on television. Works in minutes, lasts six hours. It's, it's a good quick fix. I mean, it's a nice, it's, it's a nice little trick, that's for sure. And um, 
and if you want to look good for six or seven hours to work for whatever reason, a function or a party or whatever, this is something very, very useful. I actually like this product. Um, watch your working minutes on this video. Just go to the URL and, uh, and you can watch it in action. The difference between us and the rest of the instant formula is that we have QXP and that makes a great deal of difference. Men are coming into anti-age, including myself. That's me there. Uh, after using Skin Medica, which is supposedly the top, after 10 years of that. And then you can see me 21 days after with Radiant Life, dramatic testimonial. Needless to say, I am ecstatic about this product. Now, the main product is strong, because usually men use it once, um, once a day. When women use a product two or three times a day, we use it once a day. And... Uh, so they really packed it in. This is, this is probably, probably a stronger product, although the ladies' night cream is also strong. Uh, some women use this on their decolletes, uh, stretch mark on their bellies, their legs. I mean, I hear all kinds of things that much people love this product. But uh, I have a confession to make. I've used it two or three times a day to get that dramatic testimony. I really went after it. So I, I want to be honest with you, okay? Now, uh, to get that testimonial back quickly. Uh, before and after 31 days, Clayton, uh, he wasn't as bad as I was, but he, you know, great testimony on the brown spots and the wrinkles. Uh, here is a young gentleman, his name is Tom, although in young people you don't see dramatic difference, but we can see some difference here in the eyes and also in the forehead. This is Patrick, great testimonial after five days. Sometimes you get a fast testimonial, I don't promise it, but sometimes we do get these five to seven days testimonials. Um, this is a 35 days of Michael, dramatic picture before and after. Then you have Gordon, 22 days, another dramatic difference. And then we have a skin repair. So we, we looked at the, at the women's cream and we looked at the men. Now, another big product in our company, of course, this comes out of the original signature technology. And uh, now we cannot make any claim on chronic wounds. So if you start healing chronic wounds, don't tell anyone don't send us any pictures because that is making, this is like making a medical claim like cancer. But people are using it on different rashes. This is not, uh, well, obviously the original FDA approved registration that it's in the pharmaceutical end of our company. This is the same strength, but for the cosmetic registration, if we want to be able to sell it, right? Because we're not doctors. So, and consequently, we cannot make any claims of whatsoever on medical diseases. But as far as rashes and burns, this thing is amazing. A lot of people are coming in because of this product, and a lot of people just work this exclusively. As a matter of fact, this is one of the biggest staples that we have. And uh, like Larry, it's a guy who lives in Australia, couldn't get rid of that rash. It was gone in seven days. Uh, Carol, she had this afflicting I don't know what it is exactly, but it doesn't look good. She couldn't get rid of it. The doctor couldn't give, give her anything to get rid of it. She started using the skin repair, and it was gone in 14 days. And we hear this over and over and over again. This lady fell on the concrete. She, uh, she uh, damaged her skin, and it was really hanging around her a little bit, a little bit too long than, than normal. She got on, this, on the skin repair, and within nine days, it was gone. Also great for breaking down scar tissues. Scar tissues are bothersome, especially if they are invisible part of the body and there is nothing on the market that can get rid of scar, but this product. This product alone, on the scars alone, can make a fortune. It will break it down because scars cannot survive in the, I mean, scars only survive in the presence of metalloproteinase. So metalloproteinase, when, when the skin closes, it has a tendency to raise the skin. And, uh, so this is really, really a good news. Like for people, for example, if you have plastic surgery in your face and you have cuts under your chin or uh, around your ears or maybe your eyes have a little webbing or something, this will break it down. This is great news. Also very fast healing after laser treatments, dermabrasions, and acid peels. So that is, concludes our training here as far as our product is concerned. I gave you a lot of information, you guys. You can answer all the questions that come at you in the industry. You can watch some testimonial videos. This one is a radiantlifetestimonial.com. A lot of these people have been in the skincare, estheticians, uh, girlfriends of plastic surgeons, doctors. Uh, just listen to what they have to say. We have another video with a bunch of testimonials. There is me uh, giving a small 
brief presentation for five minutes and then many other testimonials. We're gonna go to that URL and take a look at it. And this is the uh, a Deja Vu instant gratification video on 30 people uh, right there, uh, you know, in a park. Uh, we give to some people product and that's a great video for that product. Now, we are a manufacturer direct to consumer model. We're not a marketing company, we're a manufacturer, right? So we buy direct, no middleman, no overpricing. I like when you buy a product at Bloomingdale's or Macy, or buy a product on television, or from an effort marketing company, the subcontract manufacturer. We are a manufacturer direct to consumer. Um, the person who gave you this video, they're gonna give you a website, and you go directly to Radiant Life to order these products and you're going to a manufacturing company, not a marketing company, okay? Like, if you buy it on TV or on the internet, there is some kind of middleman that gets a piece of that action. We have nothing like that here. You're going to that website because you're referred by one of our brand partners, but that is the, you know, the only thing. Other than that, you're dealing directly with the manufacturer. Consequently, a cream that if it was sold at a plastic surgeon office or a dermatological or cosmetology office would cost maybe $300, like Skin Medical or Lancers or Neostrata, here it's about $67. We have no complaints on the price. And by the way, we never get complaints when the product arrives in the mail. Not complaints on the scent, not the complaints on the texture. It's not sticky, it's not too much of this or too much of that, unlike many other skincare companies. It's great to work with the product that when it arrives in the mail, you know you have a happy customer. And if the customer stays on it for 90 days, you got a customer for life. So as an entrepreneur, you know, in love with residual income, uh, that is what we want to see. We want to see high retention products, happy customers. So, but that is your list uh, at the retail level. Brand partners are purchasing at 25% off if they are on auto, on auto order, convenient auto convenience order. If not, you're purchasing at 15% off. However, if you decide to become a brand partner with our company, you really want to consider one of these packs. The biggest value that we have is the 499 pack. We give you $1,100 with the products. It's really great because you have uh, something for you, something for your spouse, and maybe a little more than that. Then you have the travel sizes and you can really start your business, use, use and talk to other people, right? Use and talk. It's one of the staples of, of, of direct marketing. And consequently, that pack really can get you there. I truly believe, guys, if you put your business hat on with 42% of all direct marketing volume in skincare, just looking at this presentation and considering what we have, uh, we, are, we are in a good place. This is an industry that's growing $150 billion a year. So in three, four years, it's going to be about a uh, trillion dollars. And we are in the forefront of the leader in that industry. Radiant Life is the future leader in medical anti-aging science and reversing the effects of aging. We have 100% credibility with the medical community. We were in doctor offices for years. And consequently, unlike other companies that are being criticized by the medical communities, we have their approval. Huge difference, right? That this is a 30-year-old class one FDA approved pharmaceutical company. Consequently, by not having middlemen, we give you a better price. And also to our distributors, we pay 100% of wholesale on your volume in your organizations. Where many other companies, they pay you 50% or 60%. I've seen as high as 70%. So if you're a leader, for example, and you generate a million dollars worth of volume, and then you can own, and you get only paid on, on, on 500,000, that's, that sucks, okay? It's not gonna happen in our company. Now, I don't wanna mention any names, but study all these big stinkier companies, and then come back to me and say, Ricardo, okay? That's what you're gonna say, do your homework. No inflated claims, we don't need to make any claims. You saw the pictures, you see the studies that are published on our website, so we don't have to go out and hype anyone. We have no gray areas, no hype, just facts and results. We also give a lot of education, training, and support. So basically, guys, this concludes the training. I wanna thank everyone for coming. Um, we have we spent a little longer here than 45 minutes, and. Uh, I know that some of you are kind of chatting the questions away. I'm, I'm gonna spend a little time answering the questions, but uh, this we're gonna repost the replay of this video, so you're all gonna have it. Again, I wanna thank you for coming to this training. Watch this training over and over and over and over. I know I talk fast. I know people don't have time to watch long videos. I really understand this. 
but please, when you sign up someone new, when you bring some, someone on, make sure that they get educated, make sure that they are not like a lot of other people out there, that they come on the line and they're totally brainwashed and then they can tell you why the product is the best. Don't be like that, okay? We, we really strive to have an educated brand partner that goes out there and knows how to present this correctly. Watch this over and over and over again. We'll be happy to answer your question. Text us. Uh, we have a group at uh, uh, Radiant Life Leadership Training Group. If you search it on Facebook, we post a lot of articles on a daily basis, a lot of tips, both on the business and the products. And that's where you can stay in touch with us and never skip a beat. Come to the webinars, come to the, uh, come to the presentation, come to the training. So we have um, product trainings, compensation plan trainings, uh, business development trainings, and also personal development trainings and social media training on how you can go global with us in Radiant Life. So far, uh, so for now, I just want to say uh, so long. We'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.